Hi everyone, to the bone, this is Darcy, and today I'm going to talk about products that did not work for me. So if you want to hear more about it, keep on watching. One thing I always talk about on my channel is that every single skin is different. That means that something that doesn't work for me doesn't mean they won't work for you. As a matter of fact, a lot of the products I'm going to talk about are some people holy grails, and some of them I wanted to purchase for the longest time because they were very expensive, and then this happens. So sometimes it doesn't mean if the product's natural, expensive, people's favorites, doesn't matter because each skin is different. So the purpose of this video is not just only to share products that may work for me, but to emphasize the importance of patch test. Because if I had patch test some of the products that I'm gonna talk about, I probably would not have created a horrible skin reaction. And patch tests are really simple, guys. All you need to do is put any product close to the neck area, right here, wait like 20 minutes, wash it off, and observe for 24 hours. If the area of the skin becomes red or rashy, discontinue use because that means you have an allergic reaction. This is such a simple task to do, but we often don't do it, and I'm guilty as charged. So I also want to create this video to make sure to mention the importance of patch testing and share with you my experience with these products. So let's get to it. I'm going to start with eyelashes, and this is called Revita Lash. This is an eyelash serum that you put on your eyelashes to help them grow. This works. I'm just going to start by saying it does work. However, what really happened is I've used for a few months and my eyelashes were amazing, guys. Like, they were the longest they've ever been, so I would say the product works. However, I went on a trip, I forgot to take it with me because you have to put it every single day. And then, because I didn't use it for three days, my eyelashes start falling off like crazy. So as soon as I got back, I started applying again and I developed some sort of allergic reaction to it. Then my eyelids became really rashy, so I had to discontinue use completely. And this is after months of using it. So it wasn't like I had this problem right away, so it did work. But then, since I could no longer use it, my eyelashes started falling off more and more and more to the point that I had horrible bald spots. Like, horrible bald spots, and I'll show you some of the photos, the in-between. And I also noticed that because I used for a few months, it stained my eyelids, so I developed like some, like a purple hint to the eyelid itself. And the purple hint still continues to this day. Like, it got a little better. It's been like almost a year, guys. It's been a long time. And that's why I didn't return this product because it was too already past the point of return. And I did use it for a few months, so it did work. But I wanted to mention to you guys that if you decide to use this product, yes, it does work. But make sure to always apply just to the eyelash itself because the way it works, you apply only to the, it has almost like a little, like an eyeliner type of brush and you should apply just to the eyelash band, like where the eyelash meets the eyelids. And I did, but I think I applied also a little too much, so it would bleed into my eyelids a little bit. So when you, if you decide to use this, because it does work, make sure you apply the littlest amount so it doesn't touch your eyelids whatsoever, because it's not supposed to. So it was a little bit of user error, because I used to apply too much, and it would bleed to a little bit to my eyelids, and it would get a little bit into my eyes too, and it would sting. And after I stopped using completely, I got bold spots and eyelash discoloration. But it's a type of product you cannot stop using, not even for three days. So it can be quite expensive because it is up to in price. So be advised that once you start using, do not stop. <laughs> and you do get good results, but unless you develop allergic reaction to it like I did, then you can no longer use it. But if that happens to you, and if you're using this product, and your eyelashes are falling off, and you can no longer use it, what fixed my eyelashes was castor oil. And by the way, guys, castor oil is amazing for eyelash growth. It helped to recover my eyelashes, which is so affordable, so easy to find, and you can apply to your eyelashes before you go to bed, every night, just a little bit as well, and you will see results within like two weeks. I hate to say it, but this does not work for me but I know it does work for a lot of people, so just be advised and always be careful with any product that you choose to purchase, do your research, and um, if, again, if you develop a rash, always discontinue use, especially since it's your eyes. Be really, really careful. So, unfortunately, it does not work for me. The next product that unfortunately did not work for me is May Lindstrom Problem Solver. I say it in such a sad way because it was a product that I literally waited years to purchase, 
and it's a lot of people holy grail and it's like a mud mask that is supposed to like helps with anti-aging and it's supposed to I mean it's supposed to be okay for sensitive skin but I think my skin is in a whole different level and my skin is extremely sensitive another thing is that I got this mask for myself for my birthday because it's a very expensive mask and I've been looking to buy this mask for years not just months years because it's pretty up there in price and I have a lot of amazing masks that I use I have DIYs so I really debated actually even purchasing it and then this year I'm turning I turned 41 so I'm like I think this is it I'm gonna buy it so I bought it like a week before my birthday and I test it out and another disclaimer if you are trying different products make sure you do patch tests but do not try things close to your birthday <laughs> because it kind of ruined my skin like I felt like I could not use makeup anymore. I could not put anything, guys. I even water would hurt. Like just actually touching my face would hurt. And what happened is my skin got red, of course, but not as red as other reactions I had. But after that, it would literally have like this extreme dryness that whenever I look in the mirror, I just saw like dead skin. And no matter how many times I washed it, if I put like something that was a little bit uh, exfoliating, but gentle, it would not go away. And what really helped my skin to recover with was my oatmeal face mask, which is a DIY mask. I'll put the link on the description box below. I did mention on my monthly favors and I mentioned many, many times because it is something amazing that it did help my skin recover. And it was one of, the, one of the few things I can actually put on my skin because guys, I could not use moisturizer. I could not use makeup. I even water would hurt. Like very few products I was able to apply and that was another reason I was away from so long from my channel because I couldn't do any reviews, I couldn't do any DIYs, I couldn't literally put anything on my face. And that was very hard for me because I love the brand. May Lindstrom is an amazing brand. They do all natural products, they're a beautiful brand, so luxurious, their products are beautiful. And they also have other products in the line that works with me, like the Blue Cocoon, amazing, also super expensive but amazing. So please don't feel like because it didn't work for me, it wouldn't work for you. But I would stress so much to always patch test because some of the ingredients are amazing. I no longer have the product because I did return it. It was so expensive, but they do have an amazing return policy. They reply to me right away and they totally understand. But unfortunately, the problem solver did not solve my problems. <laughs> The next product that didn't work for me is from Drunk Elephant and is the Baby Facial. Again, I no longer have it because I returned it, it's pretty expensive. I had actually had to wait until Sephora had the sale to purchase and I was so, so sad that it did not work for me. It is a face peel, so again, it has very, very powerful ingredients and you're supposed to have it on for five minutes. I could not even stand the five minutes. I had to wash it off even before three minutes because I felt right away something was wrong. Then I washed it off, my face was a bit red and uh, caused a horrible allergic reaction that only subsided after I used my oatmeal face mask. You guys see the pattern here. That one saved me every single time, but if I had done a patch test, I wouldn't have that problem. So lesson not learned, <laughs> but anyways, that product did not work for me, unfortunately. So unfortunately, I cannot use it, but I do love Drunk Elephant. The, the, the brand itself is beautiful. They have amazing natural quality products, super amazing. And this one is actually, and this one in particular is my holy grail. It's from Drunk Elephant, is the Pertini Polypeptide Cream. I've mentioned on previous favorites of mine and it's still a holy grail for me. I like this so much that I actually purchased another one, even though I still have a lot on this one. So that goes to show the baby facial did not work for me, but Drunk Elephant is an amazing brand, so they have an amazing products, and this is literally my holy grail. The next product that did not work for me is the Tria Beauty Age Define Eye Wrinkle Correcting Laser. What it is, is an FDA approved beauty gadget that you can use at home for like three minutes, and it was supposed to help erase tiny, tiny fine lines. This is only approved for the eye area. Tria has a bigger one that is supposed to be for the whole face. I've never used that one. This is only, I'm only talking about the tiny, tiny, tiny one which is only for the eye area. It's like a personal laser that is supposed to give you like a dermatology effect on your wrinkles. And I have a lot of like tiny little fine lines here. And I used this product a few years ago. I use as directed, I use for the whole time of the product that the product asked, I think it was 10 weeks. So after I was finished with the treatment time, that's when you're supposed to see your wrinkles disappear. What happened is that my wrinkles triple. I had some fine lines here, but I never had fine lines. They went all the way to my cheeks. And after the time of the treatment was done, 
my fine lines were tripled and I had fine lines that were going all the way to my cheeks, which I've never had it before. So that was very disappointing because I used the product to erase my tiny, tiny wrinkles and I end up with way, way more wrinkles. And that was so disappointing. I was lucky enough that I bought a Nordstrom so I could return it even though it was already months that I had the product. It's definitely a product that did not work. I do not recommend at all. If you wanna try something like that, like laser treatments, I highly suggest go to a dermatologist. I feel like those procedures are might be best at a dermatologist's office where he can adjust the power of the laser and be much better and safer for you. So that is just my opinion and my experience. If you had tried this product, please make sure to comment below if it worked for you, if you had if it worked for you, if your wrinkles were gone or worse, make sure to comment below. I'll be curious to know, but unfortunately it did not work for me. This is it guys. These are some of the products that did not work for me. Please make sure to comment below if you have used these products, if it worked for you. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you like this type of videos, please let me know because I will make sure to put aside a bad bin so I can, once in a while, come back and tell you guys things that worked and didn't work out for me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.